Thank you, Brian. Brian, oh, we are there with the, some of the military permutations of what will be happening in, in the case of a succession at the helm of Kenya's military. Of course, noting that it is uh, the turn of the Kenyan Navy with two lieutenant generals operate. Of course, Kenyans will be waiting to see what happens there, even as they mourn the CDF's passing. Uh, bodies are started arriving uh, of the, the 10 people who were lost in that helicopter crash earlier today. Uh, we have live pictures there for you uh, from the Moi Air Base here in the capital, Nairobi. Uh, we can see um, uh, military officers receiving uh, what will be the bodies of uh, their lost colleagues and comrades, uh, the 10 people <coughs> that were lost earlier today in uh, that helicopter crash in Sindar in, in Marakwet East. Uh, of course, uh, there are lots of military procedures and, of course, uh, uh, traditions of what happens next uh, and, 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 of course, the informing of the family members and so on and so forth. So you can see there, those are live pictures from the uh, Embakasi Air Base uh, here in Nairobi. Uh, military officers receiving what would be the bodies of the departed uh, servicemen, the 10 of them that were lost earlier today uh, in, in uh, Sindar, near Tot in the county of El Geo Marakwet. The president, of course, earlier announcing um, three days of national mourning uh, for the passing of the 10, included, of course, uh, the CDF uh, General Francis Ogola, the first ever chief of defense forces, the head of Kenya's military, to uh, not only uh, pass on in service, or in, but also in the line of duty as he was undertaking several military um, um, events that were happening in the region, uh, from El Geo Marakwet all the way to the county of Turkana, and back to the county of Wasungishu, where he was not able to undertake his last uh, um, um, function. Uh, but of course, that is uh, what has happened. The president saying that uh, in the three days of national mourning, all uh, official flags uh, on Kenyan soil, and that includes uh, foreign missions abroad, would fly at uh, half-mast. Very sad day for the country. We have continued to see uh, many um, messages of condolence from various leaders across uh, the world, uh, of course, uh, condoling the country uh, for the loss of the CDF. Uh, let me I've just... Uh, read a message from the Azimio leader, Raila Odinga. There's one here from uh, uh, the First Lady, Mama Rachel Ruto, who says, I'm deeply saddened to, hit, to learn of the demise of General Francis Omondi Ogola, the Chief of Defense Forces, uh, CDF. Our prayers and thoughts are with his wife, Aileen Ogola, and the family during this difficult time. We are also remember the other families affected by this unfortunate accident and pray that God comforts and strengthens them. That is from the First Lady, <coughs> Mama Rachel Ruto. So these are, these are live pictures uh, coming to you from the Embakasi Air Base here in Nairobi as uh, the bodies of the departed uh, servicemen, which include uh, the only four-star general in the country, uh, General Francis Omondi Ogola, being uh, flown into the capital uh, to be received um, by uh, the military hierarchy there. Of course, a very sad day for the families of those servicemen uh, who would have by now been informed uh, uh, before the president made his uh, address earlier this evening. So we shall be continue to cover this for you and to tell you what uh, is happening. You're watching NTV tonight on this day that uh, we are covering a very sad breaking news story, the passing of uh, General Francis Ogola, Kenya's Chief of Defense Forces. We take another quick commercial break. We are back shortly with more news for you.